Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to episode number seven of At Home with Maisie and Jordan. So we're oh, staying. I know. Oh, I can't. <laughs> staying with the Valentine's theme, and this session we are joined by Liz from Boston Bakery, and she makes the most amazing cookies, which are to die for and if you've not tried them after this episode you need to go and order some they are out of this world <laughs> i am a massive cookie monster so i will definitely be trying some after this <laughs> they're amazing so let's bring liz in hi hello hi liz hello um i am right in that you class them as cookies don't you yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good, like New York style ones. You know the really thick, gooey ones that are like slightly doughy in the middle. Oh, they're not stop. like they make me so hungry. <laughs> it's lunchtime as well, isn't it? Like, <laughs> um, so do you want to start by telling us how Boston Bakery was born? Where did the idea come from? Yeah, so um, originally I'm a well, I'm a musician by training, and then in March, obviously that all went to pot a little bit. And um, I, I, used, I always used to bake to take to shows. So I mainly play musical theatre shows and things. So when you go and you do the rehearsal with the band and stuff, I used to take cake. And there was the running joke that I wasn't booked for my playing, but it was for the for the cake. <laughs> I was like, as long as you book me, that's fine. I don't really mind. Um, I'll bring more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how much do you want? Yeah. Um, so then when all that stopped, um, I had, firstly, loads of time on my hand and secondly no one to feed cake to which is a bit of a thing if you enjoy doing it and then all of a sudden you, I wasn't going to school to teach and I wasn't playing in shows so I was like oh you know even the neighbours were a bit like mm, enough of that now <laughs> so um, it's just like I don't know you know when you have just a little inkling idea and then your friends and family sort of go do you know you could actually do that there's nothing to stop you from doing it and I thought oh well, we'll sort of play around with websites and things and test boxes and it all sort of just happened you know one thing leads to another and, and then it starts getting quite real um and then with things like instagram you can do all your marketing really easily and reach quite a wide audience and then as soon as people start like having them review, reviewing them and sending it back to you um yeah and now we're here which is a bit a bit weird and surreal but yeah um, no that's amazing and so for like weddings, how would, are they more like wedding favours or? Yeah, well, I've, I've had one quote for a wedding so far that's happening, well, hopefully happening in October and they're getting married in Bakewell. Um, so they've asked for the Bakewell cookie. As oh. wedding favors, yeah, for all their guests. So um, we can, because we print all our own labels and things and they're individually wrapped. So they stay fresh for ages. So you don't have to eat them there. Although in my experience of weddings, there's always that gap, isn't there, before the food comes where you're like, oh, <laughs> I had too much wine the food. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they can, you could have people's names written on them if you want to do some doubling as place settings and things like that. And I'm quite happy to work with the couples to what flavours they'd like and, you know, things like that whether it be something that's personal to them, like something that, like a meal that they had on their first date, maybe not like roast dinner, but, you know, like a <laughs> bundu or something. <laughs> and something that would be special to them and to be able to cater for that too. So, yeah, that's I think that's mainly where it would fit in. Um, and so really well. did, you, did you come up with the recipe yourself, as in so the basic cookie recipe? Is that yours or, yeah? Basic cookie recipe is adapted from one that I used. Uh, Jane's Patisserie, if you don't follow her. Oh, yeah. Her. Um, her recipes are brilliant, aren't they? So it's like slightly adapted from there. And it's more the actual cooking process. So um, the dough is frozen before we cook it. And then that makes sure that the outside stays crispy and the inside is still gooey without it cooking through too much. So it's all cooked, but it doesn't get too like hard and chewy. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, I never wow. see it. I'm not a baker or a cook or anything in the kitchen. I just can't. So I would never have thought about freezing dough and then using that to, to keep it yeah. crispy but doughy in the inside. Yeah, so you can cook it quite hot without it burning and then it, it, it helps with the texture. 
How did you come up with that? How did you realise that? Down, too much time on my hands. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it always works better. Cookies always always work better from chilled. And then I thought, well, what happened if we froze it first? And then you know, just wow. yeah, turn around. That's amazing. And so, how do you get inspiration for the fillings? Because some of the kind of collaborations of flavours are amazing. But well, sometimes it's, people suggest them. Like now, it's a bit bigger. Lots of people send in suggestions, which I find really, really helpful because it's you're cooking for people to buy them, aren't you? So you want to provide what they want to eat. So that's really helpful. And sometimes I thought, oh, okay, and then you try it, and it actually works really well. Um, so a lot of that and a lot of just things I like, basically. <laughs> like the bake off <laughs> is really one of the most popular ones, actually. That's just my favourite dessert. So that was yeah. that was an easy one. I was like, well, I'm going to do that because that's nice. And then the classics, the oat and raisins and things. And a lot of pudding-based ones, actually. Now, I've not really thought about it, but they're, they're, a lot of them are based on puddings and uh, chocolate bars and things. So, yeah. Oh, my uh, goodness. It's making me so hungry. <laughs> Um, so what's your Valentine's speciality this year? This year we did a preset box of seven. So our cookies come in sevens and tens or threes for letterbox. Um, and you can normally you pick your own, which is quite unique as well. You can choose which flavours you want. Um, but I did a preset one and it was all based on Valentine's chocolate puns, which I love the pun. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Yeah, so we had matchmaker matchmaker, which was an orange matchmaker one, and then um, a one in a millionaire's shortbread and a oh, oh. gold bar biscoff. So yeah, all all puns and really gooey cookies and a bit of gold glitter and a heart shaped um, one with some I, that was as decorative as I get. I did a heart shaped cookie <laughs> <laughs> with a with a white chocolate drizzle on it and some little confetti hearts. Yeah, so just like sweet and puns. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds great. Do you know what would be nice? Yeah. Um, do you know what would be great for a wedding is if you got one of those um, horse boxes and yeah, have the cookies there. That would be amazing. Oh, long term, I'd love to have a cookie van. I've just started talking to um, a pizza van place. They've just they've got a Bedford van that they had for their wedding. Wow. I think it is a van that that they arrived to the wedding in, and now they've converted it to a pizza van. And that's their plan to do weddings. And they said, they did say a while ago, you know, would you be interested in maybe supplying some cookies? So that's all in sort of early set. I probably shouldn't have said that. It's but it's anyway. <laughs> but that sort of thing would be that sort of thing would be great, I think. Um and especially if we could serve them warm as well. So you, again, you know, once oh. you've passed the main dinner and you've had a bit of a dance and it's eleven o'clock, you know, when they have the hog roast bit type thing. Yeah. Yeah, my friend had um she had an ice cream van at hers. That was pretty good actually. Yeah, everybody's loving street food, so yeah. the van situation is really popular, isn't it? Yeah, it's you know, doing doing it, isn't it? It's something for everyone. Isn't it? You can get a few yeah. 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 Oh, this makes me so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's probably not friendly if you're eating a hot melty cookie, but you might maybe don't care about the end of the night. Maybe at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's fine once you got towards the end. Yeah, you've done the photos. It's all okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just give washing instructions with the cookies and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> A little packet of vanish with all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What does the future hold for Boston Bakery? Do you have any exciting plans or projects coming up? Well, next week, I'm going to take time to sort of work out the direction I would absolutely love a cookie van that would be like dream territory because I think that would be just great um and as you said for weddings and things it'd be ideal so I'd really like to look at that and um Mother's Day in the short term Mother's Day boxes because the Valentines were really popular so Mother's Day um and then Easter <laughs> you can sort of calendar around events can't you um so that's that's the short term plan and then long term maybe a bigger kitchen space as well just so that I can get get through the bakes a bit quicker and yeah have a bit more storage room and things like that have a bit of house yeah. back maybe. <laughs> um, yeah so that's that's plans for now and then hopefully getting some more um catering for events and weddings and things like that so it's a bit more um regular if that makes sense and you're getting you, it's a good way of um getting your brand out there as well and sort of 
yeah, getting to new audiences and all that. And I just really like the baking. So if I could keep it going, that'd be amazing. So yeah. I'd really love, hopefully, when the theatre's open, to keep it going with that and to do the playing in the evenings. And although I'll be charging for my bakes now, so there'll be no free yeah. cake. <laughs> <laughs> no more freebies. Yeah, I'll be like, come on. <laughs> Tell you while it's out. <laughs> How much do you really love the cookie? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, um, so so what instrument did you? What instrument do you play? I'm, I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> and then I was literally like, "What is it?" <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a reeds player, which is clarinet, saxophone, flute. So for shows, you tend to do all three because. That, yeah, it's cheaper to employ one person to do three things. Uh, basically, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So what what show were you in before lockdown? My very last gig was a um, workshop for the Royal Shakespeare Company's Christmas wow. production, which obviously didn't happen, The Magician's Elephant. And that was in like early first run throughs of practice, you know, maybe scores and things, which was, it was really good. Like it was a high to end on, um, yeah. but then it was a shame that it <laughs> didn't happen. But maybe, maybe it will, they're talking about putting it on when we get back. So hopefully I'll get the call again, mm. but you never know. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I so hope you do. Um, sorry, I was going to say, it will be so good once you go back to theatres and your cookies can be sold at intervals. And... Yes. <laughs> it's another argument for the cookie van. I could just rock up in that, get all the intervals, <laughs> stand outside the theatre for half an hour at the beginning, dish, you know, dishing them out and then go and play the show. Yeah, that'd be a win-win, wouldn't it? And then I could just Absolutely. bake them. Yeah. Two for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do um, themed ones depending on what the show is as well. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I not. Love that. That is a brilliant <laughs> idea. Go and go and be on the orchestra for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and then <laughs> you're in. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole series of cookies in that show, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, Liz, we are now going to play a game called This or That. And we play this with all of our special guests. And it just gives us a great opportunity to find out a little bit more about you. Um, we've now created like a Valentine's version. So not as scary, but there are right and wrong answers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, it's fine. <laughs> OK, Liz, so... Are you ready for your Valentine's this and that? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so, are you single or taken? I'm taken. Yay! Um, <laughs> chocolate or candy? Oh, chocolate. Always. Yeah. Night in or night out? Well, n usually I'd say night in, but because I haven't been out forever, <laughs> I think, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I think we're all with you on that one. <laughs> flowers or jewellery? Oh, probably flowers. Ooh. Like really nice flowers. Yeah, yeah. Not, <laughs> not petrol station flowers. <laughs> yeah, like proper. Ones in the last two weeks, not, not too tired. <laughs> <laughs> um, dinner or a movie? Dinner. Definitely. Good answer. Red wine or white wine? White hangovers on red wine. Oh no! Kisses <laughs> or hugs? What or hugs? Sorry. Kisses or hugs? Uh, hugs. I'm a hugger. Uh, do you love Valentine or do you hate Valentine? Um, I'm in the middle. I don't really celebrate it, but I think it's a nice thing to do if you do. Okay. Oh, that's not an answer, is it? Okay. <laughs> Oh, love, love that one, That's so yeah. diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the fence. <laughs> well, just because this causes controversy between Jordan and I, I'm going to ask you a question that is not on the Valentine's list. <laughs> <laughs> I know which <we're> one. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy or Breaking Bad? Now, this is awful. I haven't seen Grey's Anatomy. I have seen Breaking Bad. I'm <laughs> I wasn't sold on Breaking Bad. I didn't actually finish it. So <laughs> I'm going to say Grey's Anatomy because hey, Liz, you're the best. Breaking what? Bad. <laughs> I thought I'd won then. Sorry. I just, it's, it's all right. I just got a bit annoyed with him towards the end. I was like, come on, stop doing good things and look after your family. Like, what are you doing? 
But yeah, I just, I just got it. It's like, can't use your brain. It's not a good idea to have Grace and Tom. Stop it. Oh my goodness. No, no, I'm not accepting this. You need to watch Grey's Anatomy and then you can. <laughs> okay. I, I mean, yeah, okay. if Grey's Anatomy is no good idea, then yeah, fair no, enough. I haven't seen it, so I can't. <laughs> you need to watch Grey's Anatomy because it is amazing and it's life changing and um, you will just give your life to buy it. So, definitely, definitely. I'll put it on my Oh, one last question for you, Liz. If you could give couples one bit of wedding advice or life advice, what would it be? Don't stress. It'll be fine. The important bit is that you're getting married and that you love each other. And oh. everything else you won't even think about on the day. You know, you probably won't know where. Well, you won't notice the photographer there. And you'll love the photos, whatever happens. And the venue will be perfect because you'll be there and you'll be getting married. And that's the, that's the important bit, I think, with weddings. Um, and I think it's very easy to get stressed out about things that, in the long run, it don't really, you know, it's not make or break. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. And that's brilliant. That's before, lovely. before you go, do you just want to oh, yeah. give everyone your social media um, handles and where they can find you, how they order the amazing cookies? Yeah, so we're at Boston Bakery on Instagram and at Boston Bake on Facebook because we couldn't get bakery. Um, the website is www.bostonbakery.co.uk. It's B-O-S-T-I-N. Owen is obviously it comes up on the Google quite a lot. Um, and yeah, you go to our website to order and you can choose your box size. You can have three, seven or ten. And then you can pick which cookies you want to put in. And we've got vegan options and the menu changes every month. And then I bake them and send them to you. It's a Yay, they're amazing. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank You're you. You're welcome. See you soon. Bye.